Welcome to the Chow Tools Market Making Operation Tutorial Video. Market making is the process of maintaining the stability of a token's market price and circulation performance through reasonable pull-up, drop and traffic control methods, avoiding abnormal fluctuations. In the early stages of a project, it helps prevent the price from rising too much or falling sharply, which is beneficial for keeping charts running smoothly and enhancing investor confidence. Before starting, you need to prepare the wallets needed for market making, and each wallet must have sufficient SOL and tokens. Here, using market making on the pump platform as an example, click the pump zone to enter the market making page where you can quickly jump to the corresponding section to perform market making. The value token can currently only be Solana. The market making token can be selected from the tokens under the currently connected wallet, or you can enter the address of the token you want to make the market for. The market making bot provides three modes, pull up, drop, and traffic. Pull-up is continuously performing buy operations to push the price up. Drop is continuously performing sell operations to push the price down. Traffic is continuously performing random buy and sell operations to increase trading volume and market activity. The three operation parameter panels are basically the same, and we will take the pull-up parameters as an example. The single transaction volume is the purchase amount for each trade. If the range amounts are different, the amount will be randomly generated. If the left and right range amounts are the same, it is a fixed amount. Below are the risk control parameters including target price, total maximum transaction amount and duration. If not filled in, the system will continue to execute trades. If any one of them is filled in, once any condition is met, the task will automatically stop. Then comes the general parameter settings. First is the task execution interval, which is the interval between each wallet initiating a transaction. To ensure the transaction's success rate, it must be set to at least five seconds. Next is the slippage setting. If your transaction amount is small and you want to complete the trade quickly, you can directly select automatic. Finally, there is the GITO MEV tip. You can think of the GITO tip as another kind of block packaging service provider on the Solana chain. The higher the fee is set, the faster the transaction will be confirmed on chain. If you want to reduce trading costs, or if the GITO mode has a low success rate, you can also set the tip to zero and choose the normal trading route to try again. The market making bot can be run simultaneously, and you can click here to open a new window to perform different tasks. Here, you can manually input or upload a file to import the wallet private keys we prepared in advance into the system. The system will perform local encrypted storage and will never upload them to the server. During task execution, the system will automatically refresh the balance, provide real-time statistics of trading results and make it easy for you to grasp the latest data at any time. It will also print real-time trading logs here. If the trade is successful, the interface will display the transaction ID and you can click it to jump to SolScan to view transaction details. If the trade fails, the system will directly display the reason for failure, making it easy for you to quickly troubleshoot the problem.